Hey everybody. Oh man, that first yard sucked. It was my little yard. This is where I do a front yard. The backyard of that house looks like hell. It's got it's overrun with dogs. It's a dog jungle back there probably. I haven't looked in I haven't even looked. Maybe next week we'll uh, take a glance over the fence. We'll look forward to that. That'd be my backyard dog video. I'll make a dog video of just video of uh, people with backyards with dogs. Show you the mess they got. <laughs> uh, that'd be a good idea. I like my backyard dogs. But uh, that first yard I just did, I did that front yard is a little one on uh, every other Wednesday. Uh, let's see what was I gonna say. Go oh, every other Wednesday. I do those yards and uh, uh, the school buses were letting kids off at the school, but they were coming back up the street I was at, and there was cars parked on this side. I was parked on this side, and it was real tight for the buses to get through. But there wasn't nothing I could do about it. So I, I just hauled ass. And, Got my yard done as quick as possible and got the hell out of there. Some of them bus drivers flew through that little tight spot, and the other ones they would barely creep through it. They'd stop and going real slow. I kind of like the ones that were going slow and stopping. They were being a little bit more careful. The other ones are regular, typical bus drivers, you know, that drive like hell. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna go over here and do this little ditch. This is my smallest job I got. That was my smallest yard. My first one was. It's just a front yard. I used to do the backyard too, but for some reason they don't want it done no more. They're too. They don't want to lock their dogs up, I guess, for while I mow. I'm gonna wipe this little yard out here if I can get around this damn trash can that's sitting in the middle of the road. Gotta back around this trash can. Oh yeah. I guess my uh, 20 some years of truck driving comes in handy. I'll have to figure that up someday. How many years I drove trucks? It's pretty easy. All my life. <laughs> I'm only 20, you know, 25 years old. That's it. My kid's older than I am. Okay. I'm gonna wipe out this little dinky dish I got him over here. Let me show you what I'm doing now. All I gotta do is weed eat almost not quite to that yellow sign over there and around this ditch to right there about right there somewhere it only takes me a few minutes and then we'll uh, run up here to my hunter tree yard so let me get this done I'll be back with you here in a little bit oh man got my ditch done looks pretty decent Gotta go up here and do my hunter tree yard. Uh, we're in coming in the leaf season there pretty soon. I gotta get my butt and gear. I gotta get my uh, my walker mower fixed. Either that or figure out another plan. I was gonna turn this uh 30 inch lawnmower deck I has a round one. It's 30 32 I think. But it's a big round one. 32 inch round deck. I was gonna make it a blower out of, into a blower. Or I mean like a vacuum. But I just ain't had time to deal with my ideas. Chewing on my uh, pickle flavored sunflower seeds. The dill pickle flavor, that's the best ones I've found so far. I used to like the, uh, the taco flavored ones. 
But these dill pickle ones, they got more flavor than them. This yard don't look very bad. Looks like someone almost mowed it, but because it's, it's got, it ain't growing. I need some lime. I think that yard could use some lime. Man, it almost looks like somebody mowed that yard. I think it just ain't been growing. It's gonna get mowed now. Damn straight. This is where I'm at now. You guys all seen all my yards. Mow all through there. It's not manading it too bad, but I'm here. And if I wait two more weeks, she'll be screaming at me. I know it's gonna need weed eating and stuff around back of the house. It grows good along the sidewalks and stuff. So I think what happened, I lowered it down a little bit last time further than normal. So this time I'm gonna mow it higher than normal. Or at normal. Whatever. Okay. I need to get my dozer out and do some dozer videos for you guys. It should be coming up. I've, sh I've probably got some work for it somewhere. I gotta think about it. But All right. See you in a little bit. I'm going to mow this yard. You guys take it easy. And, uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to let you see me mowing this yard. as a secret how I do it. So, we'll talk to you in a little bit. Oh, I finally got done with that one. Let me see what time it is. Let's see what time it is. 10.30. That's not too bad, really. I got the my biggest yard of the day done at 10.30. Two other little ones knocked out. I'm usually way behind this schedule. I'm doing pretty good. Now I gotta go do... Uh, I'll have a... Uh, most of my yards I'll be at my trailer court by noon around noon probably it's around 10 30 11 if I get going quit taking my break I gotta take a break every now and then you gotta take a break especially after you've been uh, mowing for about two hours Gonna have a lot of leaves here pretty soon at this yard. Under tree yard. Mm. Mm. I had to get my uh, leaf situation fixed up. Every year I keep thinking I'm gonna do it a little better, but I never get it done. I never have time to, to make it better. I do really in the winter. I just was out and stay in my warm house instead of going out in my garage where it's cold. But I need to get me a better heater in my garage. I used to have wood stove out there, but I got a tight wad. I turned into a tight wad. I need to make me a, an outdoor wood furnace because I got all kinds of wood I could be burning. Yeah, oil burner too. I'm gonna make me an oil burner slash wood furnace, I think. Or just an oil burner. I got enough vehicles that can change the oil. I got over uh, seven gallon, about seven or eight gallon of diesel. I mean, I'm gonna use motor oil if I change them all. Which that ain't very many days, but. I need a wood stove. Forest air wood stove, like an outside stove and a little shed or something where I can put wood in there with it. And then force the air with a fan blowing into the shed. Or something like that. Have the hot air coming out of the shed maybe with a fan into my shop. And another tube where the fan would be pulling it through that other hole into the wood stove shed. Just make the whole damn shed the, the furnace. That's probably what I'll end up doing. I need to make that. 
I might do it with that shed. <laughs> I'm gonna go get it. All right. That's all there is about that. And uh, on to the next one. Let's see. We're having a pretty good day today. Got this one now. They all in trees. All them trees are gonna lose their leaves, and I gotta pick this up. It takes me. Uh, I do. They come down in one fall, about half of them. And then about two, three weeks later, they all rest of them fall, and I come and do the whole yard again. I do it twice. Around Halloween, I'll be done with it. Maybe a little after. Right before Thanksgiving, I think, is when I did it last year. And I think it's right before Thanksgiving. I get done with everything. I try to get all my lead jobs done by Thanksgiving and get paid all my payments in by Thanksgiving that people owe me money. If they owe me money after Thanksgiving, then I start really harassing them and get my damn money. So, all right. That's all. I'm going to go to the next one. We'll see you all later. Alrighty. It's lunchtime. Let's have a lunch together, y'all. I'm at a different location for lunch today. I haven't been done something like this for a long time. Usually it's all work, no play. I'm at the Harrisonville City Park. I'm at the little lake down here at the Harrisonville Lake. There's the park. There ain't no kids out here today playing. They're all in school. So I'm gonna, looks like a good place for me. I did a U-turn here on the street and I can just zip around here and go around here and out do a whole circle. When I get done eating my lunch, I'm gonna grab me a little lunch here. I got me a treat today. <laughs> Not really a big treat. I bet a lot of y'all eat the, it's the same thing sometimes. Got me an old bag of Doritos. It's outdated by about a month. I'm gonna try them out, see if they're still good. And a Pepsi. And a couple of pieces of uh, leftover pizza from yesterday's lunch. Free pizza for me though, the wife bought this. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I've always seen people fishing in that lake, but it was dry about, it was empty last summer. I doubt there's any fish in it. Maybe some little ones. They probably restocked it. Oh yeah. Extra thin crust Supreme from Pizza Hut. It's the best ones. The crust is not greasy. Let's see if these uh ugh, smell like rotten cheese. Let's see if this old Dorito make my uh might make me sick a little bit. My wife says, ah, they're good. They got a lot of preservatives. They're crunchy. Maybe they are good. Good enough. Let's hear this. Uh oh, we got a Harley going by. Oh yeah. I wish I had my Harley back. You don't have to have a helmet no more in Missouri. I think you might have to hel have a helmet if you're a newbie for a little while. And then later on you graduate to be a biker and you don't have to have no helmet. I wouldn't mind riding without a helmet like around town slow and like that guy's doing, cruising the park. Going down the highway though. Might be a good idea to have a helmet on. I don't know. So, I'm gonna eat my lunch here. And, uh, then I, let me see, I got, uh, my next yard is a little lady by the library which is somewhere on there, right there. It's not too bad. 
It's a $35 yard though because I got to do the front and back. Get her done. Then I got to do my mother-in-law. Then I do my Marine. He's the next Marine, old man. And then I gotta do this little lady here. It's pretty nice. A little bit picky. But she always pays me when I'm done. That day. I can handle the pickiness if I don't have to wait for my money. Big old different kind of tree there. I think it's a cypress tree or something. Hmm. We're gonna have a lot of needles coming down on the ground. Leave this tree. Gonna have a lot of needles. Looks like moss. You see those down in uh, Georgia. I see this guy fishing. Let's see. There was a lady sitting over here at a picnic table. Let's see what she's done. I'm a freak. Is she smoking a cigarette? Somebody might know her on my channel. <laughs> it's uh, got tennis courts over here. A racquetball. Court. I might have, I like to come up here and play that racquetball court. I like playing racquetball. I don't know if that's what it really I think that's what it is. Or if it's a place for the tennis players to practice, but it looks like a racquetball court. I like to come up here and play some of that. Maybe I'll get my wife to come up here and play some racquetball with me. We don't have rackets, but we got tennis rackets we can play with. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, I just built my dang Pepsi. What the hell? Let me raise this thing up a little bit, drain her off. Well, that sucks. I'm not used to having something like this fancy Pepsi whenever for lunch. I usually just have water. You used to have something sitting there. Well, he takes me off. He's going to make flies come in my truck. And ants. Uh-oh. Our fishing guy's hung up. There you got it loose. Pissing me off. Made a mess. Here, I'll use this old shirt. Wipe it up. My wife's favorite shirt. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now they're dry. All right, one down, one more to go. Piece of pizza. What do you guys like to have for lunch when you're out mowing grass and doing your lawn care businesses? What do you guys eat for lunch? A lot of times we go get a veggie sandwich from Subway. We're supposed to have that yesterday, but I didn't do it. 
had to break our tradition. And I love this thin crust pizza. It's pretty good. I mean, I don't love it, but for pizza, it's the best pizza. And it's even better cold. I don't have nothing to talk about, so I guess I'll see you guys later if anything comes up. Anything comes up, I'll get back with you. Uh, other than that, I'll just let you know where I'm at in my day. So I hope everybody's getting a nice lunch. Oh my gosh, a leaf got me. A little fella came down and landed on my arm, it scared me. So. Yeah. We'll talk to you later. If anything comes up, or I'll just say what I'm doing today. Oh, howdy, howdy, howdy. Three o'clock. Got my Harrisonville yards done. I sure do like starting early in the morning. This makes it so much nicer. I need to get my water. I need some water. Get my big old thing of water back here. I need some water. It's hot. I want to drink this water. It's wet. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. A couple of nice pieces of ice in there, but it's getting, it's going away. All right. Ain't that too bad a day today. I know it's not interesting for you guys. Just me mowing some yards. Uh, I don't know. Four white bows taped to the telephone pole. I don't know what that is. They're just little bows. It's hot today. What the hell? We got that yard done. We didn't mark it. Bam. Can you blow off this porch? Got it all dirty. You did it. It wasn't dirty till you mowed grass. Better been on my safety belt before I get a police after me. How's everybody's Wednesday going? I thought it was Thursday there for a little bit. A Chiefs game Thursday night on Thursday night football. Are you guys excited to watch the Chiefs? They're going to be a tough game there because that uh, Chargers uh, team is pretty good. That might be a good test for the Chiefs. I think it's in the Chargers stadium too. I'm not. No, it's a home opener. It's not the. It, it's at the Arrowhead. So that's a plus for the Chiefs. It's that arrowhead and ain't gonna be that hot. <clears throat> uh, come on, car, move. That car is sitting there forever. I'm gonna wait. That's moving now. Now I can go. Like a cheap, very cheap Cherokee there is pretty badass, really. I gotta find out what they want for that son of a bitch. Damn!
people are driving like crazy, but there we go. Now I can go. I'll find out where they want me at. Gee, that's pretty cool. Gee. I'm gonna go home to the country. Because I'm a country boy. This uh, I mowed uh, eight or nine yards. Some of them are kind of little, but <clears throat> some of them are huge. One of them is really huge. You guys seen? I showed you that one. I stopped by each eight or nine different places. You can figure that out. My minimum today was 35. I like. But some of them are higher than that. The bigger ones. Tell you what, like a little bit of uh, what I make. If I'm about to eight, eight or nine, I can't remember, might be nine yards. Minimum $35 a piece. That nah, ain't the best money in the world, but it's not the worst. I could go do one more. Half tall or less. 
That's a neat old house right there. Yeah, oh boy, he's sitting there back and flying in. This is a good way to get a flat. Yep. Go down through here after they get that plate. The plate and something. Oh. that creek back there one time a, a big load of gravel was going across a bridge right there and fell through it an old wooden bridge I don't think he went through the I think the steel caught him but he fell through the bridge the wood hello buddy that was a bad deal glad it wasn't me I've been across a lot of bridges that said like eight ton I went across the bridges I said eight ton with a 25 ton load of rock <laughs> this is a 25 ton in the dump truck I've been across the bridge and said eight ton I think I had trouble for that by my boss I said there wasn't no other way you guys should have known better and then send me to that place, that address. What the hell's that school bus doing? They were pulled over and sitting there. And they took off. Yeah, I went across that bridge. And uh, I think the dispatcher said, what, what, are you, what are you doing? I said, I'm going up here to, to drop this rock. He goes, how'd you get there? And I go, well, you guys sent me across that little bridge. It's still up. They couldn't believe I went across that eight-ton bridge with a truck that was weighing, what was it, about 35, 40 ton, 35 ton truck and load at 25 ton of rock my truck weighed 22 or 3 thousand that's 12 yeah I was weighing about 36 ton and I went across an 8 ton bridge that was dumb <laughs> I won't do that no again ever again that's why I got out of truck driving one reason because I hauled a lot of loads that I shouldn't have been hauling these guys are meeting their own way home. I guess I'm on my way home from work, too. They're on their way home from the city and stuff. They've been working. There's another car up here for sale. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go 
for a little bit. Go, nah, we'll just keep driving. Somebody might like to watch us going down this old country road. I'm getting ready to hit the gravel again when I get over a little ways over this hill. There they're doing some uh, doing some work. Oh, there's some gravel chipping still for a little ways. I gotta have a drink again. I'm getting thirsty. We might see some turkey or deer down here, but it's a little late in the day, maybe. I mean, kind of not late enough in the day and not early enough in the morning. Oh, that water's good. It's like a big swig. I'm headed home. Oh, yeah, my wife's getting off work right now. I'm headed home, baby. I got back and mowed on them yards on Friday. So that was uh, that was a couple days late last time I mowed them. So that put this only that was 12 days instead of 14. That's why my yards look a little bit short. That two extra days of growing makes a difference. They look better today. They look pretty good. Look how dry that corn is. That stuff's getting pretty dry. It's too dry for silage. I bet they're cutting silage in New York like a mother dog. As you get down in the middle, it's a little bit greener. You get a couple rows in. Ten squirrels loose here in these woods, right here at this bridge that I caught in town. I took them out here. I hope they survive in the country, but I let them loose down here. Took their made them country squirrels. They kept trying to get in terror of my house, so I just kept catching them. I turned about ten of them loose down here in this uh, timber right here. right there. They like living in old houses. They probably like my house though because it lived in and they had the heat from my heater running up, you know. Holy crap, there's the road grader. There's the guy messing up my damn roads out here. County road grader. Look at him. He's, not, he's taking on my side almost. I don't know who that is. I'm driving that one. All I know, that might have been Robbie Leaper. I'm not sure.
what it's called right here, but when I get up there, it's called Peculiar Way. I think. Or Peculiar Drive or something like that. Because that's where I live, in Peculiar, Missouri. It's a pretty peculiar place. means S-T-O-P spin tires on pavement spin tires on pavement I'm not going to do that today that I was this rig what's this yellow sign Monarch Siding and Tech a bunch of crap that right there is the speed limit Oh, 
guys hanging there a few times on this trip. I didn't really have nothing to talk about. the worst intersection in the earth. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah. I'm turning right here, boys. act like they are just gonna run into you. Alright, that's all I got to say about that.